Hey, what's up? It's another episode of Watch You Strap In, and these are not reviews. These are just quick, impromptu uh, wristwatch checks of the day whenever I get a chance to do it. And uh, right now it's almost 2 o'clock, and that's when I'm doing it. Uh, so, yeah, this is a kind of a new acquisition. This is the Baltic Aquascath um, Bronze, and this is the blue gilt dial. When you can see, sometimes it gets pretty dark, almost looks black, but it's definitely in, a, in some good lighting that uh, that blue really does shine and pop pretty nicely. And uh, yeah, it's uh, been meaning to get a bronze watch back in the collection, it's been a while. Uh, actually, when I was started off with uh, my watch collection journey, uh, well, I guess the second time around when I kind of took a break and I kind of got back into it and uh, when I started to get back into it uh, bronze watches were on top of my list uh, in my head and then I did have a couple that I dabbled in uh, early on um, oh gosh must be almost five years ago or so by now uh, since the last one really uh so yeah and i took a break i just like okay i did bronze and uh didn't i mean i've always liked it but i was like uh you know didn't didn't feel a need to go back but uh now uh, uh having watched a, a somewhat recent video about bronze watches that, that are out now that from affordable to more expensive and all that uh from a uh, teddy Baldur store's uh, uh youtube channel um got me thinking about this one again because i did see this this is about a year old or so i think i think it came out sometime last year this right now this is uh february almost mid-february 2022 and i'm pretty sure it came out sometime early in 2021 um and they had a black uh goat dial version later on but uh and always attracted to more of the, the blue one. I think it works well with the bronze. Uh, so does black. You can't go wrong, of course. But uh, something about that blue against that gold or kind of bronzy tone is um, uh, a nice com color combination. So anyways, uh, yeah. And this is on the stock um, rubber uh, tropic strap. It's kind of a... It's actually a little bit darker than the dial. Well, it depends on the lighting. But it's like a really dark navy and it's got a matching bronze buckle and so uh yeah it's um it's not bad it's uh it could be a little bit more supple or softer but um it's it, it you know it does the job for uh what it is um i think the you'll see another watch that i have pretty soon that's kind of a buyback sort of but not really but it's uh, from Helsin. They have a Tropic strap that's uh, definitely better quality and and um, and, uh, and it definitely feels like it would be more comfortable to wear than this. But I wouldn't say this is uncomfortable, but uh, it could be uh, softer, I suppose. Um, anyways, and uh, I'll have this on some new strap options as well uh, that are incoming. And uh, actually, I should have one actually later today and then I'm waiting for another one from Erica's original uh, which will look pretty good with this so anyways uh, that's basically about it um, this is basically the first day I'm wearing this I got this yesterday and uh, so we'll see how this patinas over time uh, it's relatively clean still but I do think even uh, it's been less than uh, 24 hours and uh, I got this like basically nighttime yesterday so what is it running on almost 16 hours 18 hours or so since I had it oh, no, actually a little bit more than that yeah anyway um, and I think I'm starting to see some bit of patina starting to develop what do you think right up in here looks like there's something going on on the surface so uh, we'll see this has a different it's not CUSN8 I think is what is a lot of uh, more common bronze materials which has a bit more copper in it and so it'll have a warmer more reddish tone to it almost like rose gold 
I suppose, more coppery. Um, this has, I believe, a little bit more aluminum. I think it's somewhat similar to like the way uh, Tudor has their bronze watches, which uh, has, it's basically, it's supposed to be a little bit more resistant to uh, patina. So uh, it'll take a little bit longer, so you can kind of enjoy a slightly cleaner look for a little bit longer. And I think it's also supposed, at least supposed to, um, supposedly supposed to, it's supposed to uh, have a more even patina. It won't be as blotchy, I'm guessing is what they mean by that, but we shall see over time. Um, anyways, I got to get back to work. So uh, you'll be sure to see more of this as I test drive this and uh, try to just you know, add more character over time and uh, uh, some uh, strap options as I get them in. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next.